there is a park in town that most parents would consider safe. Yet I've been there a dozen times unnoticed. I sit alone, pretending to read or listen to music. They're struggling with their buggies, tired, distracted, their lives an unending list of dutiful chores. Here, they are free, momentarily, to grab greedily at the chance to exchange the bittersweet anecdotes of family life. They even share my bench sometimes, oblivious to this grey, childless man lost in thought who is secretly an archetype of vigilance an inconspicuous spider waiting for his fly less of a man more of a shadow as my ex-wife told the court sometimes i even forgot he was there she sneered sincerely nailing down the lid of my reputation Unemployed now, I combine interests, visiting parks and internet chat rooms, perfecting my anonymity and nurturing new friendships. Patience is the keeper of my passion, a beast that drags me, sheet thrashing through the sweat damp hours before dawn. But today, with a spring sun warming a light breeze that cradles a dozen unsuspecting voices, my shadow is ready to fall at last. So shockingly easy, too, despite this herd of witnesses, spotlighted by broad daylight. When young, carefree minds get distracted, and daddy's back is turned, anything can happen. A ball that bounces over a hedge, a game that lingers too near an open gate, and not just a toy is lost forever. Don't wander off, but they do. I see him idling across the car park, Unmindful of my scrutiny and follow, I reach my mobile, whispering urgently as I walk. As the knee high gate swings behind me, beast in my breast tears at the walls of my heart. It's time to teach someone a lesson. If only I'd followed my own son so diligently. I hear him, his deep voice hushed but confident. I would be friend to a child who knows no enemies. Yet, I met him in a chat room. Half his real age and twice as dangerous. But today is not the culmination of grooming, just naked opportunism. I have conspired against him, you see. Found his address, followed him to this haven of innocence, watched him as he's watched others. Let him go! Let him go! Let him go. I dear Marn, sickened by the reptile in his eyes. I can forgive myself now. 
though my family never will. It's over.